Wait, who's there? <gasps> and what's this? If it's a seed plant, it's a funny looking one. <laughs> Here's another one. Huh? Wait a minute. These aren't plants. They're more like legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. Just like a... Spider! You're not going to believe what I saw back there. It was creepy. It was crawly. It was it was this big. No, it was bigger than that. It was huge. What was it? A vast. It was a giant spider. And it made a strange noise like this. B -b -b Captain, I thought you said there were no spiders under the sea. Captain, you've got to see this. There's something big out there, and it looks like it has eight legs. Let's sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi has discovered a mysterious creature in these unexplored waters. Now it's up to us to find out what it is. I'll get the good bait ready, Cap. And I'll stay here at the octopod to fix something with my tools. Quasi, those were my tools. Quasi, we need you to come along. You're the only one who knows what this creature looks like. What does it look like? The biggest spider I've ever laid me eyes on. A spider? In the ocean? I know, it doesn't seem likely. But whatever Quasi saw out there, we're going to find it. Peso, Shellington, into the guppe. Quasi, are you with us? Hi, Captain. I'm with you. Good. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Captain. See anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know, you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. Hello out there. We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our gut? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Chip and Twimpy are lives. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch! No. It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. On our honour as octonauts, we'll get you unstuck, matey. <laughs> Captain, according to my medical manual, giant clams open and close using this muscle. Aye, try tickling it. Good idea. Goochie, goochie, goo. <laughs> That's it. Peso, you'll tickle the clam. Quasi and Shellington, you try to pull the clam open. I'll lift the crab's leg out. Tickle, pull and lift. Octonauts, let's do this. Excellent. Yes. Aye, aye. Tickle. A goochie, 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 goo. Pull. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> yes, it's working. Let's really get him laughing now. Tickle. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> lift. <laughs> ah, at last, I'm free. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We did it. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, how can I ever thank you? Say, would you like to come to my birthday party? The Octonauts never say no to a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. I've never seen so many kiddies and grandkiddies. Grandpa, you made it! Ah, yes. Thanks to my new Octonaut friends. I got here just in time. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Oh. <laughs> hey, what, what you doing? <laughs> now I know how that giant clam must have felt. <laughs> Guess Quasi's no longer scared of spiders. Spider crabs, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Ready to test the Octomax suit? Ready. Let's start with the robotic arms. Robotic arms, check. Now the jackhammer. Jackhammer, check. All right, now let's test those cameras. Front view, check. Side view, check. Oh, hi, Quasi, Professor. Whoa, how'd you see us? With my rear-view camera. Check! What in the seven seas is this thing? A diving suit or a gup? Both. It's as strong as a gup, but small enough to get into tight spaces where the gups can't go. We call it the, the Octomax suit. The Octomax suit, eh? He looks perfect for wrestling sea monsters. When can I try it out? Not now, Quasi. We have a mission of our own, remember? Oh, right. Planting. Coral. Not just any coral, deep sea coral. And it can only be planted in the midnight zone. The midnight zone? Why didn't you say so? Let's go. Open the octa hatch, Tweak. You got it, Quasi. A glass, Professor. Over there. Uh, perfect, Quasi. Over there! It's our lucky day! Food! Food? What kind of food? How much? What's it look like? I can't see it very well. Oh, of course you can't. We're culpa eels, remember? We can't see anything very well. I know. I'm over here, by the way. 
Oh, oh kind of looks like sea snake. Uh, they're wriggling all over the place. Now let's open our jaws and... <gasps> oh. You get anything? No. You? Nothing. And those aren't sea snakes. Then what were those wiggly things? Tentacles. Octopus tentacles. Oh, oh, octopus, my all-time favorite. Ooh, we can't let him get away. Uh, hey, watch where you're going. Sorry. Now come on. The deep sea coral should feel right at home here. Yeah? <laughs> Octopus tentacles straight ahead. Oh, yes, I can almost taste them. <laughs> Professor, look out! <laughs> We've been inked! Oh, retreat! Retreat! Ouch! Yeah! That was some fast squirting, Professor. What were those slithery beasts? Oh, just some gulper eels out looking for a meal. Nothing to worry about. Those little fellas were out to eat you. Gulper eels can open their mouths wide enough to swallow creatures much bigger than they are. Uh, now, where were we? Ah, hmm. Inkling to barnacles. Go ahead, Professor. We've planted all the coral. And we're coming home. Good work. We'll see you soon. I think um, I may need a little help getting my tentacles untangled. I'll get you out, Professor. Those rocks are no match for me. I'm almost <laughs> got it. It's not safe down here, Quasi. Get out while you still can. A pirate never leaves his crew behind. Or his tail. Captain, I'm picking up some big tremors coming from the midnight zone. The sea floor's breaking up. Come in, Captain! Tight! Giant bottles! We've lost contact, Captain. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, Professor Inkley and Quasi are trapped in the Midnight Zone. They're wedged in under some boulders. We have to get them out right away. Tight space, heavy lifting? Sounds like a job for... The Octomax suit! Just what I was thinking. The air tank is only good for a short mission. Then we'll have to work fast. Tweak, Dashy, Peso, let's go. <laughs> There's the Gup E. Hmm. They must be down there. It's up to you now, Dashy. We'll monitor your air tank from here, but you'll have to work fast. I'm on it, Captain. Any sign of Professor Inkling and Quasi? Not yet, Captain, but it's dark down here. Activating searchlight. Bingo! I see them. I'm going in, Captain. We read you, Dashy. Keep us posted. Looks like you two are in a tight spot. Dashy! Don't worry. I'll have you both out of there in no time. It's too heavy. Now what? Don't worry, Quasi. This suit has a few more tricks up its sleeve. Activating Jackhammer. Tentacle free, two to go. Well done, Dashy. Now, move the jackhammer to your right and down. I'm 
still hungry for octopus. Let's swim back slowly. And then we'll open our jaws and... Go! Captain, we've got visitors. Dashy, gulper eels coming up fast. From behind. And they look hungry. Dashy, activate the snack shooter. Great idea, Tweak. Snack time. Food. That should hold him. The second tentacle's out. Just one to go. Hurry, Dashy. You don't have much air left. Almost there. But this rock's really wedged in. Oh, how about a little octopus ink? That might help me slide it out. Good idea, Professor. I'll take a blast of that too, Professor. I'll lift while you two try to wriggle free. We did it, Captain. They're both free. Well done. And just in time, Dashy's almost out of air. Dashy, get back to the gulf now. Aye, aye, Captain. Wait. My friend, he's trapped. We can't leave him there. Even if he did try to eat you. Don't worry. We'll help you out. Stand clear. Hurry, Dashi. Oh, ah, I'm free. Oh, thank you. No problem. Now, let's get out of here. Ooh, you better get out of here, too. Oh, go. No. Hurry, Dashie! <sighs> that air feels good. Good work, Dashie. I'll have you good as new in no time. Oh, thank you, Peso. It looks like the tremors didn't hurt the coral, Professor. Excellent. Let's head back to the octopod. I could certainly use a cup of tea and some fish biscuits. After all that excitement, <laughs> I'm as hungry as a gulper eel. <laughs> ah! You do that every time. I know, I'm awful sorry. Octonauts, my great-grandfather once visited the waters where the octopod sits tonight. Was he an ocean explorer too, Professor? Yes, indeed, Captain Barnacles. He wrote this book about the amazing things he saw in his travels. But there's a mystery in here that I've never solved. Yeah, I love a mystery. Then listen to this, Quasi. It was a beautiful starry night. The water was calm and smooth, when all of a sudden, I saw something leap out of the water, something remarkable. And that something was a... Hmm. Huh? A what? That's the mystery. The next page in the book is missing, you see. Oh, Professor, we're in the same part of the ocean where your great-grandfather saw something amazing leap out of the water. Maybe we can discover what it was. That would be wonderful, Captain. There's a map in the book that might help you find it. Yeah. Why don't you take it with you? Oh, are you sure? Uh, it's never left my library, but... We'll take good care of it, me hearty. We promise. Don't worry, Professor. I'll put it in my special waterproof satchel, just to be extra safe. All right, Shellington. Octonaut to the launch bay. <laughs> Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. I don't see a thing. I'd better check the map in the professor's book to make sure we're in the right place. Okay, but be careful with it. 
Of course I'll be careful with it. And why don't I hold it for you while you look? I can hold it myself. <laughs> Quasi Shellington, look at this. <laughs> Flying fish. Those flying fish took the professor's book. We're going after them. There it is, Captain. Hold tight. You almost have them, matey. They can't get away from us now. a problem catching up to them. When flying fish want to make a getaway, they leap out of the water. <laughs> and look, they're gliding away. We'll never catch them now. Ow! Oof! Out! There's one that didn't get away. <gasps> Must get away! It's no use. I can't make it. Are you okay? No, I'm doomed. I'm a flying fish who can't fly. Oh, please don't eat me. Don't worry. We don't want to eat you. Ow! Oh, me tail fin. I smacked it on some rocks and now it really hurts. We know someone who can help you with your fin. Why don't you come back to the octopod with us? Uh, but Captain, what about the professor's book? Hi, we've got to find those flying fish again. Agreed, but first our new friend needs help. We'll let them know back at the Octopod. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Hey, so we've brought back a flying fish who needs your help. Aye, Captain. I help any creature who is sick or hurt. Now, what seems to be the trouble? It's me tail fin. <sighs> you need a bandage. Good as new. Oh, it feels better already. You should stay here and rest a bit before you take off again. OK. Thank you. Captain, the flying fish will be able to fly again in no time. Flying fish! That must be the remarkable thing that my great-grandfather saw. I'll add that to his book right away. You tell him. No, you tell him. <sighs> uh, well, Professor, we sort of lost the book. <gasps> you lost it? But, but how? A school of flying fish came leaping out of the water. And before you could say Davy Jones's locker, they took off with your book. Oh, dear. I see. It's gone. But we'll get it back for you. On my honour as an octonaut, we will. But how? Those flying fish got away from us before, but now we know how to catch up to them. We just have to leap out of the water and fly like they do. But, Captain, how in the seven seas are we going to do that? Tweak? I'm on it, Cap. I'll get a little advice from our new friend on how to make the guppy fly. The first thing you have to do is leap out of the water. That means you have to go up very, very fast. Well, I already know how to do that. Wait, that's just the first step. What well, goes up? <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh. Must come down. Ah, I almost had it. After you leap out of the water, how do you stay in the air? Oh, I spread me pectoral fins like this so I can glide. Hmm. And I use me tail fin to push myself out of the water. Fascinating. Hmm. 
pectoral fins and a tail fin that can move. Got it. Okay, I've added pectoral fins and a tail fin, fully adjustable. Now, Cap, all we have to do is test her out and see if she'll fly. I'm afraid there's no time for a test, Tweak. Aye, we've got to get the professor's book back. There's not a second to lose. Peso, is our flying fish friend good to go? Time for a checkup. <laughs> Try moving your tail fin. How does it feel? Oh, it doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> He's ready to fly, Captain. With your help, we'll find your friends and get the professor's book back. Into the guts, Octonauts, let's do this. Yow! Open the Octo Hatch, Tweak. Aye, aye, Cap. There they are, mateys. And there's the professor's book. Let's see if we can fly too, me hearty. That's incredible. Look at them go. Amazing. Oh, flying fish. I see it. Happy flying! Yippee! 